St. Lucia continues to strengthen ties with the government and people of Taiwan on a cultural level. A number of St. Lucians are again participating in the annual lantern competition in commemoration of Taiwan's National Day celebrated on the 10th of October. More in this report. The Cultural Development Foundation, in collaboration with the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, was the second annual Best of the Best Lantern Competition in commemoration of Taiwan's National Day celebrations. The competition is being held under the theme Taiwan, St. Lucia Strong. In the preliminary round of the competition, 17 entries lit the halls of the National Cultural Center in hopes of advancing to the top 10. The participants spared no effort in presenting portrayals of cultural significance to the two countries and Taiwan's diplomatic ties to St. Lucia and agriculture, education, and technology. Ramona Henry Wynn is the executive director of the Cultural Development Foundation, CDF. Participants are normally given a stipend to create because, as you well understand, a lot of them are unemployed at the moment because there aren't that many activities happening. And that is the incentive that um, we offer them to be able to create those lanterns. And the lanterns, irrespective of the themes, what they highlight is the cooperation between St. Lucia and the Republic of Taiwan, all of the gifts that they have given to us. So it's the CDF's way of saying thank you through the artists and their creativity to the, um, the people of the Republic of Taiwan. The competition serves as a form of creative reprieve to the participants from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. The participants in this year's competition conveyed their gratitude to the organizers for the opportunity to contribute to the event. It's been a tough time for artists in St. Lucia and, um, and for the arts in, on a whole. So participating in this Lantern competition is not something that I normally would do. This is my first time. But um, I needed for solutions to realize that we are alive and well. And I was excited to just do something creative, do something different, and also show the appreciation that the people of Senusha have for Taiwan, because Taiwan has learned a lot for this country. Participating in the Lantern competition for me was a wonderful experience. Um, as a costume builder who never took part in a lantern competition ever. So this is my first ever lantern. Of course, COVID tends to bring out the best in us. Of course, as we all artists try to defy all the challenges for COVID. And of course, we had some time because, you know, things are not too bright on our side. So it was an opportunity for me to, you know, express my creativity, you know, uh, and supporting the arts and cultures as much as I can. There was something for difference. So I did a, a big fish to represent Taiwan and a turtle to represent St. Lucia. And I'm hoping that the best 10 make, makes it today and then it goes down to the last three or four. One lantern will be chosen as an exhibit for the 2022 Lantern Festival in Taiwan. His Excellency Peter Chen, Ambassador of Taiwan to St. Lucia, expressed his elation with this year's entries and the growth of the competition. I'm really amazed by the magnificent lantern this year. Although last year already uh, was, uh, fascinated, but I think this year uh, all the artists uh, spend uh, uh, more time and more uh, uh, bring out more uh, sort or better idea uh, to make this uh, uh, lantern. And I'm great that I'm not a judge because uh, that will give me a hard time. <laughs> the winners of the lantern competition will be awarded $1,500, $1,000, dollars $700 to the first, second and third place, respectively. $500 will also be awarded to the participant of the most innovative lantern. From the Government Information Service, Humadi Mack reporting.